على نهجك مشيت بدربك مطيت نوري حبيب المصطفى بك ابتديت على نهجك مشيت ومنك استقيت نوري حبيب المصطفى بك ابتديت الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد سيد الأولين والآخرين ورحمة الله للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد Welcome to the fourth session of our commentary on the beautiful report where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is defining our relationship with him Last time we have spoken about the point number four, five, and six. Let me repeat them as a reminder, insha'Allah. Ibn Adam خلقت السماوات السبع والأراضين السبع ولم أعي بخلقهن أفيعيني رغيف عيش أسوقه إليك O son of Adam, I have created the seven heavens and the seven earths. And that was not difficult to me at all. Will it be difficult for me to send you a loaf of bread to feed yourself? Ibn Adam, la tis'alni rizqa ghad kama lam utalibka bi'amali ghad. O son of Adam, ask me not for the risk of tomorrow as I have not asked you for the work of tomorrow. Ibn Adam, la tatlub ghayri وأن لك O son of Adam seek no one other than me when I'm here for you فإن طلبتني وجدتني if you seek me you will find me because I'm always there وإن فتني فتك and if you let go of me I will let go of you وفاتك الخير and hence, you will miss all types of good. If you find Allah, what can you lose? And if you lose Allah, what can you gain? Let's think about this, my dear brothers and sisters, in these difficult times. Point number seven. Allah is reminding us that He is the most compassionate the most loving Al-Wadud Al-Ghafoor Al-Rahim the attributes of mercy and compassion the love side in our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what Allah keeps emphasizing to us Ibn Adam Lam ansa man asani fakayfa man atani Son of Adam, I do not forget those who disobey me. I still provide for them. I still look after them, even though they are disobedient to me. What do you think about those who obey me? O son of Adam, I didn't forget about those who disobey me. What about those who obey me? This means that when you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will take extra care of you. Allah in His relationship with us is our Lord, irrespective of who we are, whether we worship and obey Him or not. Allah is the Lord. And when someone is the Lord, He is the Lord of everything of every one of those who fall under his guardianship. Allah is the Lord of the universe. So he looks after every single creation in the universe, every single creature in the universe. Whether you obey Allah or disobey him, he will still provide for you. He will still let you, you live your life that he has decreed for you. But when you obey him, now you become his 
servant. All of us are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes. But a true servant is the one who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone as per his commandments. And when you achieve this, Allah will give you a special treatment that goes beyond health, wealth, and life in this dunya. Allah is reminding us of this. A Lord looks after all, all of those who are under his authority, but always he has some confidants. He has some ones who are very special, some people who are very close to him. Allah is reminding you that if I still look after those who disobey me, what do you think of those who obey me? What extra favor? What extra happiness? What extra grants will they receive from me? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among his sincere and genuine servants. I did not forget about those who disobeyed me. What about those who obey me? وَأَنَا رَبُّ الرَّحِيمُ وَعَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ For indeed, I am a merciful Lord and I have power over everything. And the final point is يَا بْنَ آدَمْ أَنَّ لَكَ مُحِبَّةٌ فَبِحَقِّ عَلَيْكَ كُلِّ مُحِبَّةٌ O son of Adam, indeed, I love you. So, exercise my right upon you and love me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us again and again in the same report and again and again in the Quran that He loves us and that He cares for us. When someone loves you, you should love them back. We should love Allah even if we get not what we want from Him. We should love Allah for the simple reason that it is Him who created us. It is Him who provides for us every breath we take, every beat in our heart. We are His grant. Everything, every system in our body Every movement of our eyebrows or our mouth or any limb of our body is from Allah. Someone who has given you all of that, shouldn't you love him? You say, yes, indeed, I love Allah. What is your proof? What is your evidence? قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Wallahu ghafoor rahim If you truly love Allah, then follow me. Follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which means follow the commandments of Allah because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells you nothing but the commandments of Allah. And when you follow Muhammad, means, which means you bring your theory of love into action through obedience, through doing the do's and leaving the don'ts, then Allah will love you. Allah will forgive your sins. Allah will be all yours because you are all his your. We you were all his. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who obey Allah. O son of Adam, I indeed I love you. So exercise my duty or my my right upon you and be my lover too. This hadith, my dear brothers and sisters. Again, is not a, hadith, a prophetic hadith from Islam, but is a report from the previous scriptures. However, every single statement in it is part and parcel of the foundations and the principles of our Sharia. Misdaq of this hadith, this hadith is completely reflected but and summarized in the hadith, famous hadith of Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas was writing behind the Prophet ﷺ, and the Prophet ﷺ said to him, Ya Ghulam, inni u'allimuka kalimat. Ihfaz Allah yahfazk. Ihfaz Allah tajidhu tujahak. O young boy, I'm teaching you some pearls of wisdom. Be dutiful to Allah, and Allah will look after you. 
يحفظ الله تجده تجاهك look after the commandments of Allah and Allah will always be next to you إذا سألت فاسأل الله وإذا استعنت فاستعن بالله when you ask ask only Allah when you seek help seek help only from Allah واعلم أن ما أصابك لم يكن ليخطئك وأن ما أخطأك لم يكن ليصيبك and know for sure that whatever you have acquired was never, was never going to miss you and whatever you have missed was never going to be gained by you because it's already, it's, it's already been decreed تعرف على الله في الرخاء يعرفك في الشدة know Allah or get closer to Allah at times of ease and Allah will look after you at times of difficulty and hardship واعلم أن الأمة لو اجتمعت على أن ينفعوك لم ينفعوك إلا بشيء قد كتبه الله لك I'm no for sure that if the entire universe if the entire nations of the universe have come together to give you a benefit they won't be able to give you a benefit except that which Allah has decreed for you وعلم أن الأمة لو اجتمعت على أن يضروك لن يضروك إلا بشيء قد كتبه الله عليك and know for sure that if the entire nations have come together to bring you harm they won't be able to harm you except with something that Allah has decreed against you جفت الأقلام وطوية الصحف the pens have been dried and the records of deeds have been folded which means the pen that is used to write your decree, your fate has already been dried so it is no longer writing and the records, the registers in which your good deeds or bad deeds whatever you are going to do are recorded have already been folded so everything is predestined in another version of the hadith وَاعْلَمْ أَنَّ النَّصْرَ مَعَ الصَّبْرِ وَأَنَّ الْفَرَجَ مَعَ الْكَرْبِ وَأَنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى And know that indeed victory comes with patience وَأَنَّ الْفَرَجَ مَعَ الْكَرْبِ Relief comes with distress وَأَنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى And that ease comes with difficulty we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the true understanding to know that victory comes with patience, relief comes with calamity, and ease comes with difficulty. As Allah says, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Indeed, with distress, with difficulty comes ease. Indeed, with difficulty comes ease. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.